she leaves she resided Shankwala Robinson's cherished, lifelong companion Kayla Mitchell as of late had remark about the Cabo Six and furthermore said that they would confront equity very soon she had a meeting with WBTV where she discussed the deficiency of her companion and what it meant for her particularly the way in which wrecking it nevertheless did she need to say about the Cabo Six continue to watch until the finish to find out yet before we proceed remember to raise a ruckus around town button and leave a remark under saying I have bought in and I will answer to your remark are you prepared for the breakdown number 9 birthday festivity Chanclola Robinson alongside six of her companions from North Carolina went on a birthday outing to Cabo Mexico preceding leaving she was healthy and gone with her buddies Molly Dyer Winter Donovan Elise Hyatt Dijoni Jackson her dearest companion Khalil Cook and Nazir Wiggins anyway Nazir has since approached to express that he showed up at day after the remainder of the gathering and was absent during the occasions that prompted Shankwela. Robinson's demise as per Shankwela Robinson's mom Salmandra Khalil Cook reached her daily after their appearance in Cabo illuminating her that Shankwela Robinson had drunk an excess of liquor and was experiencing liquor harming later Khalil Cook called again expressing that clinical staff was in the room endeavoring to restore Shankwara Robinson however tragically their endeavors were fruitless and she died the gathering chose to stop the outing and return to North Carolina abandoning Shankwala Robinson's body in Mexico yet taking her gear with them at last Khalil Cook dropped off Shankwala Robinson's baggage at her folks house number 8 talked with mother during a new meeting Shankwara Robinson's mom Salmandra uncovered that even subsequent to getting back from Cabo Khalil Cook kept on beguiling her about the reason for her girls passing guaranteeing it was because of liquor harming the family had a cozy relationship with Khalil Cook and confided in him so they were stunned. When the postmortem examination results uncovered the Truth this disclosure brought about a change in their relationship with Khalil Cook and they presently not confided in him when gotten some information about the last time she heard from Khalil Cook Shankwala Robinson's mom expressed that she hadn't heard from him since the postmortem examination results were delivered which was around half a month prior apparently Khalil Cook's misdirection fundamentally affects the family and their relationship with him I love him number seven police examinations before we dive into the dissection results it's fundamental to talk about the police report which show Robinson's companions informed clinical staff that she had polished off a lot of liquor and was got dried out the report expressed that a specialist surveyed Chinquil Robinson as steady however dried out regardless of clinical staff prescribing that Chancellor Robinson be taken to the clinic her companions declined to do so tragically Shankwell Robinson went into a heart failure and was pronounced dead at, at 6 p.m. the way that her companions disregarded the Clinical guidance to take her to the clinic ought to have been a warning for the clinical staff anyway they didn't research further as Shankwala Robinson's companions what might be said about the reason for plain condition guaranteeing it was liquor harming the dissection results which uncovered the Senkello Robinson's passing was not because of liquor harming went against the underlying police report this provoked a further examination concerning the conditions encompassing her demise making the Mexican specialists change their underlying characterization of her passing as as unintentional number six secondary school recollections Kayla Mitchell and Shenko Robinson turned out to be quick companions when they initially met as rookies at West Charlotte Secondary School they reinforced rapidly as partners on the cheerleading crew which the two of them cherished so we initially met our first year at West Charlotte and we began in the IB program when we immediately associated through our affection and style we love to spruce up we put our discoveries on each day Kayla Mitchell and Shankarella Robinson shared a ton practically speaking and had similar interests which is why they turned out to be such dear companions Kayla Mitchell reviews a specific memory that stands apart from their time in secondary school it was Shankwala Robinson's birthday and Kayla Mitchell got her a basic hot cocoa from Dunkin Donuts Shankwala Robinson was excited to get the present and surprisingly needed to record the second on her snapchat this straightforward motion was a bona fide second that made a big difference to Shankwara Robinson number five terrains and recollections Kayla Mitchell thought back about the great recollections she shared Woodson Robinson in secondary school and how pondering them actually carries a grin to her face she leaves she lived I was really you know watching her story like seeing that she's partaking in her time so it's very much like how could it simply go left she was crushed that Shankwara Robinson's 
life was stopped early on and they had plans to cooperate later on Kayla Mitchell has a message to at any point might understand what happened you can't attempt to take off from equity God is a fair God so anything that you do when individuals are not around God sees it and that is a definitive like you need to go through him and you can't move away from him and his equity she said number four inquiries Kayla Mitchell shared that she and Shakura Robinson were anticipating such countless beneficial things as Shinola. Robinson's business was flourishing anyway her life was stopped leaving them with such countless unanswered inquiries Kayla Mitchell communicated her dissatisfaction saying that she had similar inquiries as every other person what's the deal with the case what headway has made are the feelings like for those elaborate what that course of events it has been a very long time since Shankwala Robinson's demise and she asked why the media was not discussing it however much they did toward the finish of the last year she likewise addressed why the specialists associated with her case were taking such a long time to stroke the Cabo 6 and serve equity number 3 postmortem the Robinsons family were crushed when their little girl departed out traveling with her companion just to everyone got back and at no point ever see her little girl alive in the future that Cabo 6 let them know that Chanquilla Robinson kicked the bucket from liquor harming yet her folks are persuaded in any case founded on the postmortem and spilled video after they said it was liquor harming we got the dissection report on Thursday her folks said it expressed that her neck had been crushed and she had a spirit fit her spinal line was broken that took it to an entirely separate level since it implied that someone had gone after her number to the news gathering at a new news meeting Mexican examiner Daniel De La Rosa emphasized that a solicitation has been made for the removal of the immediate attacker for the situation he likewise expressed that they have asked you s specialists to talk with the people who were on the outing at this point no captures have been made and the fbi's autonomous examination is as yet progressing the continuous fbi examination concerning the demise of shinkuala robinson is being led related to the branch of equity the circumstance is without a doubt trying for both her family and the local area toward the finish of her meeting with WBTV Kayla Mitchell was asked what she would like the world to be aware of Shankwara Robinson she answered that Shankwala Robinson was brimming with daily routine cherished encountering new things and experienced life to the fullest Kayla Mitchell accepts that this illustration is one that we can all profit from and is fundamental to make sure to value our lives and capitalize on each second after Kayla Mitchell's meeting the Robinson and Long family gave an assertion saying thanks to everybody for their help following Shankwala Robinson's heartbreak breaking passing three months prior the proclamation read for the Robinson and the Long family thank you for the generous flood of help in my sister's less than ideal destruction three months prior tragically nobody has been captured and the examination of this case is as yet continuous kindly proceed to help and remain with us in fortitude in this excursion or battle for equity for Shankoella they communicated their mistake that no captures have been made and the examination is as yet progressing number one fans one Twitter client addressed why there appeared to be a deferral in Shankwara Robinson's case expressing out loud whatever the hell is the holdup on the Shinkuala Robinson's case we can't let this become a virus case FBI remove individuals who need to get extra counted calories and kick things off hashtag we should go hashtag equity for Shankwala one more Twitter client communicated dissatisfaction with the absence of progress saying you all I'm truly tweaking it how presently felt lethargic do you mean to let me know that not one of six got a Rico suit they all get to simply live and that lady only vanished there it is really clear that something off-putting is happening here and the FBI doesn't have all the data they need for this examination generally at whatever point something like this occurs there is dependably a ton of dissipated proof working on it and the police generally track down an answer and come to an end result yet this one is by all accounts a serious brain twister however at that point again taking a gander at the meeting some could truly accept they are guiltless yet again the spilled video has different comments and all the Data is tangled in a few peculiar manner the shocking conditions of Shankwala Robinson's passing combined with the underlying falsehood given by her companions have left numerous unanswered inquiries and made a burden on connections the case proceeds with be a subject of interest with the expectation that a fair outcome will be given for Shankwala Robinson and her friends and family yet what do you think do you feel there's a postponement in Shankola case let us in on in the remarks underneath yet before you leave remember to raise a ruckus around town button crush.